School of Port with Trentham Academy. I'm Megan. And I'm Ruby. Today we'll be discussing how the media is impacting and shaping our lives. To begin, we found out that the average person spends 1 hour 40 minutes on social media every day. While studying this topic, we also discovered that teenagers and young adults are the age groups that are most influenced by the media. We interviewed our head teacher, Dr Blenko, to find out her opinion on how the media is affecting students within our school. Over to Tom and Lauren at Trentham Academy. So, how do you feel about social media affecting children nowadays? I think it has a big impact on their life. Uh, it's very much part of an integral life and it's our responsibility as a school to make sure that we know, we educate you to make sure you use social media responsibly. Do you think children are easily distracted in lessons due to social media? I think they could be. I think we try and aim to make sure that you don't have access to social media in lessons. However, because you've all got iPads, which really supports your education, not only within lessons but outside as well, it is important that you then use them appropriately and don't go onto social media sites within lessons. Thanks for that, guys. Social media has become such a big part of our lives that it is now beginning to affect our education, test scores and college options. Studies show that students who went online whilst revising scored 20% less on tests. Could this mean a less intelligent future of leaders and teachers? Over 75% of all internet users are using social media and it's leading to addiction. People are spending less time outdoors and more time on social media. Over to Ethan at Trentham Gardens, who is finding out how social media is changing and how much time we spend outdoors. Hello, I am Ethan, here in Trentham Gardens to see if I can ask the general public their views on social media. Our first question is, how do you access the news? We actually always watch it on TV. Hello, and our first question is, how do you access the news? Uh, mostly through either the radio, the TV or the internet and social media. If you don't mind me asking, what type of social media do you use and why? I use Facebook because it uh, suits my needs. It's uh, good for the groups on uh, different like, um, interests and it's good to communicate with friends. And our first question is, how do you access the news? Um, through the internet, mostly. What type of social media do you use and why? Um, I use Facebook, Twitter um, and Instagram. Um, for social use and as well as my using it for my blog. Hello, and does social media take part in your job at the BBC? I think with news, we have to accept that news comes across lots of different platforms. Years ago, we would only have got our news from newspapers and from the radio. Of course, now we've got TV, we have got social media. So what the BBC have done is we've tried to make news accessible to all all the time. So we have our 24 hour news services on both radio, on both TV. We also have with our local station, so I work for BBC Radio Stoke, if you go onto our Facebook page we're constantly putting pictures, there, I think there are some pictures of you on there right now, of what's happening around our local area. We've got a Twitter page, we've got it on Instagram, we are there leading the way really with how social media is used within news. Thanks Ethan. We also sent Lauren to talk to Mrs Cooper about how she's using social media to advertise school events. Instagram is one of the fastest growing social networks and is used particularly by teenagers. So let's find out why Mrs Cooper thinks that Instagram is a good step for the school to take. Is it a good way to show what positive things the school is doing? Instagram has been an excellent way of showing not just other students in the school but their parents students that are maybe looking to come to the school about things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis but also excellent work that we see and it's really been promoting just the stuff that we do anyway but um, because we're so confident we're such an excellent school it's a really good way of showcasing that so I've been really impressed by it. By having an Instagram account for the school does it encourage students to get their own account? If so is this good or bad? I have noticed more because every time somebody joins, the starts following the account, obviously I can see. And I have noticed there's a lot of students who have started to join where they might not have any other followers or you can clearly see that they've just started to follow school, which is nice because they obviously want to see their work. Um, we have so much going on in Spark Day about the safety of using the internet. Um, I always make sure if I do see a new sh a student following the account, I check to make sure that their account is private 
And if it's not, then I will go and speak to them and say, actually, you should just make sure it's private. So really, it's been that way really as well, to making sure that they are using the internet safely. Well, thank you for talking to me. Thank you, no problems. Thank you for watching the BBC School Report at Trentham Academy with me Megan and me Ruby. Goodbye!